Um, Mark, uh, it's uh, obviously Forest Green on Saturday, and um, you obviously everyone will be looking at this fixture with two teams in the bottom four. It's and call it a six point. It's, it is a big game, isn't it? It's an important game. Every game is a big game for us now. From the end, till the end of the season, we approach every game like that. But yeah, this is our, this is a, a big, big game for for the, for, the, for the two clubs. Uh, so yeah, we. We have to be sure and right in our preparation for it and our mindset going into it. And we've been transmitting that to the players all week that you know our mindset towards that game of getting things right, understanding the, our approach to the game and and understanding the importance of the game as well. But you know, kind of not. Listen, it is a it is a really really important game, but it's it's just another game. We can't let that disrupt our mindset of how we think and how we act. We've got to be consistent with our kind of behaviours of how we approach a game, and you know, yeah, it is important. But yeah, we'll be going out there to to, to do our best and hopefully get a really really positive performance and result. I'm going to preempt this next question by saying that it's not meant to appear negative in any way, shape, or form. But was there any part of you that is surprised at how much work you've got to do to get the side moving forward? You know, is is the job bigger than you thought it maybe was when you arrived? No, I was no. No, uh, I think the position of the team was where it was. I did a lot of looking into where we can improve the team and what we need to do. And those areas are still apparent. Uh, I think we've made big strides forward uh, out of possession and against the ball, implementing the ideas that we want to work on now and as regards to kind of winning the ball back quickly, winning the ball back in certain areas. Uh, and it's clear that we need to improve you know, our, our kind of end product and I stress all the time to the players that's just not the attacking players. Uh, it's it's us, how we attack as a team, uh, because you know that's how we defend as a team as well, and that's going really really well. So it's a collective of how we want to uh, put teams under pressure, uh, create chances for our forward players, and then be more clinical when we when we create those chances as well. So it's exactly as I thought it would be, uh, and what surprised me the most is that. Uh, you know how how hard the players want to work, how hard the players want to listen, and how hard the players are really, really trying to implement the whole kind of set of ideas we want to we want to make our team uh, look like. Uh, Jonathan Lecco's had some time now, obviously, to settle in. And you know how is he settling? In? He couldn't play in the last game, but how is he settling in? Yeah, it was just too late uh, before the Lincoln game for him to come in. Uh, it's important that he's had training time with us as well because I think in the in in, in the lead up to uh, him signing for us, uh, he'd, he'd not had that much training time. Uh, so it's important that we we give him that time on a training pitch. So we had to kind of monitor his, lo his loading and check his loading and things like that. Uh, and 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 that's something we're we're going to have to look at going forward as well. Is with his integration into the team and. You know what can he do from a, a, a physical point of view? Because he's a player as well who'll be adapting to a new style uh, as, as well. So yeah, he's, he's fitted in really, really well to the group. He knows some of the players. Uh, so yeah, it's listen. He's coming into a really, really good group and a welcoming group as well. Uh, but also a group what are really, really competitive and you know working hard every day on the on, on the training pitch to try and uh, to get that start in place. Is, is he fit and ready to play? He's fit and ready to play. Yeah, he's been training, uh, but like I said, we just probably need to know where he is as we get into the, to that capacity for him to to per perform how we want him to perform for that for that ninety plus minutes. So we'll have to see where he is on that. And but yeah, he'll be he'll be challenging for a place on uh, in the team on Saturday. Um, uh, uh, the name Max Dean has, has cropped up, uh, been linked with the club. Obviously, a player that you'll know well from your time at Leeds. What's the latest with Max? Well, we're looking at we're working hard. We probably a signing is going to be uh, announced anytime soon. Uh, from my point of view, you know, I've, I've heard the link players and things like that. But un until it's until it's done and dusted and signed and agreed, then probably you know I don't, I don't you know probably wrong of me to talk about the players. Uh, but like I said, that that player coming in is, is probably going to be announced anytime soon. So until that is, we can then discuss who that is and. And the qualities of that player. And just going back to Forest Green as well. Um, obviously, beating them recently, um, playing them again, bottom four. They will be absolutely fighting tooth and nail, won't they? It's going to be one of them where it, it, I'm not saying it's going to descend into a physical battle, but it's going to be 
absolutely really important that the physicality of the game and the the fight in your side is there. I think that's something we've seen in uh, in the recent games as well. That mentality to you know play against the ball when when needed. Of course, we want to have. Have, have control of possession and things like that. That's our identity and what we want to do. But certainly when we lose the ball, how aggressive can we be? Uh, how organised are we in our press and recognising when we press? So, listen, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll be they'll be preparing in the same manner we are preparing. And, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be looking at a tough game and, uh, and making sure our players are really, really up for the fight and they understand the importance of it whilst obviously still being calm and, and understanding what we do and how we play our game and we want to exhibit the, the behaviours we want with the ball and against the ball. So, yeah, we'll be ready and I'm sure they will be as well. So it'll be, uh, it'll be, it'll be a good contest. And just, just one more for me and it's back to the transfer window again and this is going to happen for the next couple of weeks, obviously. But um, presumably the, 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 the club is still working, you know, because uh, obviously Jonathan's come in um, but the club is still moving forward to find players that can join and, and um, enhance the squad. Every day, every day, throughout every day, there's discussions going on with uh, myself and Liam uh, and, the, and the chairman. Every day, every, every, kind of every moment of every day has been spent with kind of looking after the team, looking after the, the, the issues we have in the team and how we're working with the players and things like that, how we're preparing for the game, for training. But a big part of that is how we're looking forward and how we're moving forward in the in the transfer market. Uh, like I've said in previous previous interviews, to get who we want to get is 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 sometimes a slow process, and it's not always on our on our point of view. From our point of view, it's kind of you know the the, the club where the player's coming from, dealing with the agents and, and all things like that. So it's a it's a complex uh, process what we have to go through. But yeah, rest assured, we are moving moving on on our targets and our main targets every day, and things are developing. Uh, and soon as as soon as we get some concrete information where we can we can announce it, then you know you you guys will be the you you guys will be the first to know. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Mark. No worries. You know, a few blows on on Saturday, Mark. Um, we saw Warren O'Hara leaving uh, Stadium MK on crutches uh, on Saturday night. How's he getting on? Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's we, we, we look we're looking at Warren and he's being assessed by our medical staff. We need to get we need to get another opinion on Warren as well. Uh, moving moving forward, just to you know, it's it's clear that he's going to be out the weekend. He's going to miss the game at the weekend, uh, and until we get kind of get that follow up appointment with. Uh, with, with, with another opinion on how long it'll be, then you know we won't have a, a set time scale on that. But yeah, it's clear he's going to miss the game on Saturday, which is a massive, massive blow for us. Uh, but like I've always said, I said we've got a squad of players here who, who are fighting and, and working hard every day to take the chance. I thought Zach Jules came on in that game and, 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 and did extremely well. In a difficult situation, it's not always easy to come on uh, in, in a split second as a, as a defender. Sometimes it's easier to come on when you're an attacking player and you can get that half chance and, and things. But when you're a defender to come on and get get attuned to the game really, really quickly, it's, it's a hard thing to do. And I thought he did that extremely well, extremely well. So, uh, yeah, he'll be looking to uh, to, to, to capitalise on, on, on Warren missing at the weekend. Uh, but, yeah, as soon as we got an update on kind of the longevity of, of, of when he'll be missing, then I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, obviously leaves you quite short at the back, doesn't it, in terms of, of bodies and numbers? Does that is, is that going to force your hand a little bit more in the transfer window? Yeah, in that position, then that was that, that that was always on the on on the radar as well. Uh, if, if I'm honest, it was always on the radar. It probably uh, bumps it up in the in the in the pecking order of, of preference and what we do need a little bit. But like I said, there just just depending on kind of the severity of the and, and the time scale of what, what, when we're going to be missing Warren, that'll. Uh, That'll depend on how how hard and quickly we try and we try and push that replacement. And we also saw Ethan and um, Nathan Holland limp out as well. How are they doing? Yeah, they're doing okay. They're, 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 they've been under the care of the, the the kind of medical team and rehab team. Uh, we're pushing them all the time, and they're, 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 they're making good progress. Uh, certainly, that's not going to be they're not going to be long term or anything like that. We don't need to get second opinions on them. We know where we are with those players. So again, they're 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 working really really hard this week with with the kind of rehab team, and we'll see where they are come the weekend. 
I suppose taking on Forest Green, who you played only a matter of weeks ago, um, are you expecting massive amounts of change from from them, or are you expecting a similar sort of thing to what you saw uh, on Boxing Day? Yeah, we've been looking at the opposition. We, we, we've noticed the, the change of formation a little bit, and I think they've got a manager there who is, you know, really tactically astute and, and knows how to, to kind of you know play different systems. So we need to we need to be prepared for that, and we will do. Uh, We've got to concentrate on what we do as well, uh, but having that awareness of, of, of where the opposition can hurt us and where they might change is, is, is really, really beneficial for us and we're looking at that all the time. Uh, but yeah, we've been continuing on, on our preparation as regards to how we play, how we behave, those behaviours which I've, I always talk about in possession and out of possession and making sure we're, 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 we're bang up to speed with, with how we look after the ball and how we press. But yeah, for sure, we'll be looking at what Forest Green do and, and looking at how they might adapt or change even within the game. And we'll be ready for that.